Hello, Bradley Bobcats. It's Mrs. Burnett here to show you an artist at home lesson. This one is specifically for kindergarten through second grade. There's also going to be a video for third through sixth grade. Today, we are going to use our drawing skills and imagination to build a robot. If you could have a robot do anything, what would you want it to do? It could be a pet. Maybe you've always wanted like a dog or a cat and you could have a pet robot version of that animal. Maybe you want to have a chef robot to cook you all your favorite food. It could be a maid that helps you clean up your room or do chores around the house. It could be a helper robot, maybe a robot that helps you with your homework or plays with you after school could even be a robot car or plane that takes you anywhere you want to go. The options for this are endless. The most important thing is for you to have fun coming up with your robot's job. Now, for my own robot, I really love sweets. We're talking pies, chocolates, cakes, cupcakes, any of that. So I would want a robot that was specifically designed to make me desserts. So I'm gonna show you my brainstorm for my dessert chef robot. So here is the beginning of my dessert chef robot ideas. Here I started out kind of brainstorming some shapes that I already know that will help me with my robot design. So I know the shape circle, triangle, square, rectangle, oval, rhombus, hearts, and stars. Those are all things that I could use. Maybe you know more shapes you could add to your own list. And then I started to think about buttons and tools that I would want this robot to be or to have on its body. If this robot is gonna be a dessert chef, I know that it has to have a place to cook all my favorite desserts. So I knew it needed an oven. I knew that that oven needed a timer so it could bake things properly, be able to tell the temperature, and have an off and on button for safety. I knew that I wanted my robot to have some tools to help it actually bake. So I chose to have a spatula hand Maybe I could change out that depending on um, what it's gonna be baking in the picture I make. I knew I wanted it to have an oven mitt to keep its hand safe and definitely a chef hat so people can tell that this is a robot that cooks. And I also decided that another accessory I wanted to have on my robot was an apron. Now, once I begin drawing, I'm not limited to these ideas, but it's kind of like a toolbox to help me get started. Okay, so here is the beginning of my robot dessert chef idea. And as you can see, I referenced a lot of the things that I wrote on my idea um, page. So I started with shapes and drew the outline of her head, which I used a circle to help me do that and then I place the chef hat on top of her head so it's kind of covering part of the circle and then this chef head hat kind of goes off the page a little bit but that's okay. Then I decided to think about um, my robot having a face more kind of human-like so I put some circles down and a little circle on the inside so that she has a pupil so she can see. And then I wanted to have a more robot-like than human-like mouth. And so I use the shape for a mouth that we have used when drawing people in class. But then instead, um, she doesn't really have lips. I'm going to pretend that all of these are even uh, buttons or maybe pieces of her robot self that help her cook food. And then I decided to add a little bit of hair so she looks a little friendly. Now I did two curved lines here. One is a forwards letter C and a backwards letter C. And that allows me to connect 
my upside down triangle, which is the main part of her body. Now for legs and feet, I'm actually going to have this robot have just a single wheel as her way of moving because I feel like if I had a chef robot, I would want her to be able to get around in the kitchen easily and move quickly without um, falling or being careful of other things in the kitchen. So I think that this wheel is gonna help her get around the kitchen the easiest. Then I went through and added some ovals and rectangles and circles to create my robot's hands. So I did the spatula and the oven mitt, which I had in my design page. Now, one thing that I've decided is I don't have room for an apron and an oven on this robot body. So I'm going to pick what I think is most important. And what I think is most important is that she has an oven so that she can cook sweets and things like cakes and pies. So I'm gonna start in the center of her body and create a basic rectangle to begin. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just trying my best and I can always go back and clean it up and change my lines. So now I'm even going to put a little line in here to show where something would sit if it was cooking. And so people understand further what she's doing, I'm also going to make a little pie inside so that you can tell she is baking a sweet treat. And then I said that this oven needed a timer, temp temperature, um, and an on and off button. So I'm gonna set those buttons down here, create an on and off button, a gadget for being able to set what temperature I want the oven to be at, and then an on and off button. And I can go back inside those later and add numbers or maybe put an on and off sign on there. So this is my basic robot design. And you can always go back and add more to it. And then I will leave it up to you of whether or not you want to add color. So there's always more we can add to these. I could even draw the background as if she was standing in the kitchen. So now I'm gonna leave it up to you to design your own robot. Here is my finished robot and this completed drawing also includes color. So if you would like to go back and color it, you can. Um, I did not um, work on the background yet, but I decided to use just the uh, gray color that my pencil makes because Robots are generally made out of metal, so I used that for her face and her body, and then I added some colors in the mouth, hair, uh, arms, the wheel, and um, the tools that she has. So I, you know, you may notice that I also added some different tools on this hand here, so that it would allow her to make different things. And then I went through and colored the pie and the button. So if you have time um, and you want to go add colors to yours whenever you finish, um, this is my finished example, and I hope you all have fun creating your own robots, and I hope to see them.